the elevator business is still it's what we believe in its incubation phase. Ghana is not even at less than 5% of its capacity for urbanization. I mean, don't go too far, just jump to Ivory Coast. And you can see that 60 years ago, they have buildings more than Ghana. So that just gives you an idea of how much more capacity Ghana has to grow. And with the trend of land becoming so much more expensive, and our city now is at 7 million, projected to be at 10 million in the next five years, they have no choice but to go vertical or else they cannot accommodate the volume of, 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 of the need. Um, so it's still at the incubation stage. Today, people come and say, I want a lift. Oh, anything, just take me up and down. Unfortunately, there's much, much more than that on an elevator. There's a lot of engineering in it. Have we exposed the market to this engineering? Less than 5% of the market. 95% we're giving them the most basic up, down, press the button uh, type of lift. However, for example, the Standard Chartered Bank head office has one of the high-end engineering. There are no buttons in the lift. So basically, you decide at the reception where you're going, they give you access. And the computer tells you, go to lift number two. So you walk. Before you get to the lift, the door opens. You go in, and the lift takes you automatically with AI intelligence to your floor. So do we have that sort of technology in Ghana? Yes, but it's less than 5%. 95% is just the basic. 